all of that today. We're down to our last eight competitors at this point. When so. you have uh, like 50, 60 setups, whatever it was here. Yeah, I, yo, the fact that Everywhere. they were able to go through the bracket as fast as they did. <laughs> yeah, single started today. Can we just give props to our TOs? Because honestly, these things would not be able to happen without our TOs. So. Yeah, I believe this is now the largest tournament in the history of Georgia, the name Smash Game. TO's being the unsung heels out here. Okay, so we got Leo again yeah. on the screen. No, we had him earlier on when oh. he had to fight against Umeki. Oh, don't do it. But this isn't Umeki, and this isn't oh, This is Sam Sora, the oh. best Peach player in the world right now. Yeah, and what better place to play Peach than the, the, the state of the Peach itself? Oh, yeah, actually. Georgia, my sweet home. I used to be. Great. Turn up, re grab forward from Sansora. And oh, what? And what an opening! He's playing so aggressively right now. Knew how Leo was going to go up for the more uh, patient approach as the stuff in the Mechi set. And Sansora just calling him out, jumping towards him with a fair. Do you think we're going to see a counter switch if uh, Sansora gets two stuck this first, first game? Honestly, Call it out, Victor. Honestly, if he switches, it would just be to Lucina, but I feel like he feels confident enough to stay Joker. We're going to see. And if we're talking about, you know, hard qualifiers. <laughs> This is the hardest qualifying. M. Kayla versus Sam Sor. This, this, this could be like finals for any national. Yeah, I mean, he told me himself he thinks that Joker beats Beach. So, you know, if his confidence feels like it's wavering, then yeah, we're probably gonna see a switch. Oh my God! Sorry, never mind. What? Never world. mind. You don't need to because that down air sending Sam Sor to the shadow. No right. tech either. I'm not sure if we could tech it. I mean, you would have to di into the stage, but it's a little bit difficult on this stage since there's no flat wall surface to right. really di and uh, have enough time, especially when you're at a higher percent. As a reminder, this is the other side of Winner's Top 8 Qualifier. To face off against Tweak tomorrow. I'm fairly sure. I got double check. No, no, it's the other side. Gotcha. And right now, speaking of which, uh, Samsora is taking the first two, first two stocks against Joker very cleanly. Well, I like how he doesn't overextend with the, with the down air. He does one set of down airs and then drifts back to see what MK Leo's option to do as right. a defensive option. So I double jump into the dash attack right here. I love that Samsora has no fear of arson. He's like, oh, that's cute. He's just playing so well right now. You got your blue man, your blue man group going on? That's fine. I got my back here. Blue man group. That's okay. Tries to Z drop that turn up to try to clip MK Leo when he has to recover from so low like that. He can take advantage of Joker whenever he has to recover low. Right Especially there. with Arsene, yep. you know, there's no hitbox coming out. One, face. one good forward air. That's all it's going to take. Oh, okay. MK Leo calling out that jump right there, that early jump. That's why you saw some throw option go for that Peach Bomber. Plus, you hype up the ledge, that fair coming out. Fair being so strong. What a dominating game one. My goodness. Sam Sora looking on fire right now. Insane loop, is insane gameplay. All starting from that opening down to at 0% to go into this, the daisy chain, as I call it. The daisy chain. I patent that. Um, even if you're Peach. And now, what's the answer? I, I, he says he claims all Joker this tournament, right? But think about how many characters he has, especially against Peach, how many swords he has. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why I, I would think the only other Switch that I could see him switch to would be Lucina. Lucina. He, or, you know, he has Lucina, he has Ike. <laughs> he has a Roy, too, doesn't he? I mean, actually, this is a set that we had commentated at Smash Conference. Leo versus Samsora. Oh, yeah, Samsora. that's very true. And that you know, ended when he ended it with the forward tilt with, with a, Ike. With Ike, and the great drag down upper once again into a Nair. Nice bread and butter combo. I, I really am appreciating how much uh, MKLeo has innovated with, you know, Joker. Not Arson, but Joker specifically. Yeah, absolutely. And his movement with Joker, especially with the gun, has been impeccable. But let's talk about movement real quick. When I think about movement, Look I think no about further, Sam right? Sora yeah. and Peach. <laughs> Sam Sorin. Sam Soaring. We're soaring out here. Back here to back here. And now, I think, uh, you know, game one was very important for that downer. I think that side B might have killed right there, too. Yeah, oh my gosh. And Samsora calling out MK Leo for using that counter so close to the ledge right there. That's great observation because we saw that versus Umeki when he was able to counter the parasol when the hitbox came out. The Nair on Arsene has so much range. That's a good opening. And look how the quick double hit from the back there, too, being so intimidating. It's so safe. It is so safe. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Wait, oh. did he scare him? The oh. fear. The fear! He, and Samsora, mind you, had a jump. He could have still made it back from that. <laughs> but he was just waiting out to see what Leo was going to do. Like, hello, Joker doesn't have a float. Why are you down here? Like, I, I was like, okay, I guess they're both dead. But he's like, nope, I got to grapple. I grapple goes so far. The Evening it out. Ooh. out. Oh, he tried to re-grab it. Oh, Remember, there's... you can re-grab items in yeah. this game with tilts as well. So I felt like that's why the down tilt came out afterwards. Was that 35 percent he just did? Off one turn? That's a stitch, 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 stitch. That's, that's a beach controller. 
Okay, and even the Uli is doing a float cancel to call out Joker's cover downwards. MKLO is always ready to use that Nair, which seems to go below him a little quicker than Samsora can call out. So we're going to see if he picks up on that, or otherwise it's going to be hard for him to follow up on edge guards. Nair to come down. No Aegon. And that's another thing, Samsora hasn't been getting hit by Aegon either. You're back, Ashley. I'm actually glad Arshan doesn't have that grapple up here right there, because that would be oh so scary. Oh okay, 109. Oh, I forgot that the, the damage the poison is doing. It keeps on doing damage. Yeah, yeah. So if he gets hit by the Aegon... Oh, yeah, he's hit. So, um, if he gets hit by the Aegon while Arshan's out, it's like 20%. Right. Or something else, like... Back are going to kill. Trying the Aegon deep once again. The gun and the back air. He's moving so quickly. Is he going to kill? What? Yeah, so close to the blast zone like that. I mean, Tipsor was at a pretty high percent too, but you know, MKLeo holding on to two stocks here, looking very different compared to the first game that we just witnessed. I, how, many, how many times have been like, what right now? <laughs> so many surprising kills, but it really comes to show how creative these players are in using kill options that you might not expect. A B, not yet. Oh, you almost hit him with that too, the little snap of the fingers. Oh, that's not. Whole different game. Oh, getting that grapple. That's another thing that MK Leo has gotten really like down packed is the angle of the grapple hook to apply extra pressure on yeah. your opponent's end. What? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that was the biggest shut up I've ever seen. He's like, you want to come? You want to come down to, to Mama's he's, house? He's gonna what keep attack? going. He's gonna keep going. Dude, they don't care. He's gonna, he's gonna keep going. You want to contest Peach while Peach is floating so low to the like hello, <laughs> like so low to the blast zone? Like okay. What, what, what's it called? It's an it unstoppable force versus an immovable object. <laughs> Down there, so neither of them cares for that back air. Not quite gonna steal the deal just yet. No, not yet. We got the DIs, but you know, Samsora being at 142 on his last stock, it seems really tricky to try to close this out here. Samsora's getting impatient, I can tell. He's, he's had it up to here. Yeah, that and yeah, that should be oh. it. The R6 side uh, beat. It's so good. It's so good. And 1 1 evening it out. No surprise right here. These two are some of the best two to do it. It's a question of adaptation, especially if I'm Killer saying Joker. Can Samsora just repeat exactly what in game one, or is MKLeo no longer allowed to happen? I just feel like, if anything, like, MKLeo just didn't allow Samsora to be as aggressive as he was in that game one. Right. So within that game two, MKLeo just took advantage of where Samsora's positioning was off stage more than anything. Especially when we witnessed him go so low, close to the blast zone there, oh, contesting sure. each float. That's why we saw Samsora retaliating back with the fair. But, you know, MKLeo reacting with the tech, it wasn't yeah. going to cost him his stock any any time soon, so... My, my prediction right here is it, it, if this, you know, dogfight underneath the blast zone, way down there continues, I think Sam Soros is going to get the upper edge here. He now knows how deep MKLeo is willing to go with Joker, given the fact that he has got a recovery, and I think he has a few more tricks up his sleeve. And if anything, since Peach could just linger way longer down there using flow, it's like Joker has to eventually come up before you have just SD. Right. Like his patience, though. Using the bullets to turn the platform. Yeah, using the bullets to also force uh, Samsora to stay grounded, too, since you see Samsora jumping and also using so close to the ledge. Yeah. Arsu, who? Uh -huh. Again, with the with the fair, just interrupting Ar Arsu, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? You really have to take advantage of this as much as you can. He's using the, he's trying to get that staircase side beat combo, but I didn't quite get it. And Samsora, I know he has no fear versus Arsu, but it's really costing him. Because every. Oh, there it is again. Uh, I did not kill at 90 this time. Oh, oh no! He, I mean, I don't blame him for taking out the parasol like that, but either way, like he went so low with the, uh, he, he was recovering anyway, so so low below the like the ledge like that, he, he was gonna die anyway. Notice that same story every time now is going like that deep because he knows that's the optimal way for Joker to recover. Falling up air at 134. I believe Fair should kill here at least in the face of the edge. Oh, the dash back into grab. Jab, jab. No answer quite yet. Back air. Turn up to get one hitbox, and he should be dead unless Arson comes out, which he oh, did. Yeah, yep. Oh, but he but was he, ready with the Nair. He's all right. Really timed Nair right there by the ledge, knowing that Arson doesn't have a hitbox when he has to recover. So. All right, can he get another one of these days of chains? Let's find out. Nair got the shield a little greedy, though, especially given the fact that MKLeo has been in shield so often right there. He wants a grab, but he wants the up air. Fresh percent for him. Really trying to call out a jump there with the up air. Yeah. Using Nair, but Mkaleo was ready for that aggressive option using the down beam. 
reminder that, you know, MKLeo is fresh off of 3 0 in Umeki right before this match, so. Oh, this Mr. Saturn, he just threw it out, too. Yeah, I don't think he recognized it, he just pulled out the Mr. Saturn. For those of you unaware, Mr. Saturn is not your average, your average projectile. Though it does weak amount of damage on your body, it eats your shield harder than almost any other projectile. Yep, it will pop your shield the moment it comes in contact with it. So against someone like MKLeo, who's in shield a lot supported, but at this point, it might be too late. Now, getting the lead, two stock a piece, or two stock for MKLeo, and now one stock for Joker for uh, Sandor. Oh, I like that Linger yeah. with the float, trying to mix up his own landing. Empty to, float. Yeah, empty float, just to see what MKLeo was going to do. Now he's going down low. It really it really boils down to if, if Sam Sora can get the edge guard or not. Like, yeah. he's now missed about five of those. Back right here. And in the first game, he got every single edge guard. That's what he wanted. Here we go. Turn up again to drop it. Ends up Z dropping it instead. So safe. I love the recovery. Down, down till, and, and the up. Here. Oh, Whoa, the gun! The tension with the gun! Allowing MKLeo to just land safer. There was this PC game called Guns back in the day. It was glitchy as all hell, but <laughs> the way he comes out with those guns makes him run safer. It's actually a really smart reverse, though. Okay, countering. Okay, down till two frame, but... Yeah, he knew that he was going to be above the left. The like Nair! Yeah, the okay! Nair, you can't really check that, especially when that red splash comes out, too. Winner of this game is winning the set. Calling it now. Okay, just what charge up Arson on? Meter. I don't How? know. I don't know if it's worth it when you're at ninety six percent like this though. He's, he's not not a care in the world. It's like bring out Arson. Arson wants to smoke and catch it. <laughs> Winning again. Up B, safe back to the ledge. Oh no. Oh yes. Like it's great because the intention was to cross up MK Leo, but you crossed him up when he was facing towards you at that moment, so. That killed him so fast. That's so, Arch is so strong. It is, and doing that up smash out of shield could clip really a lot. It, it's pretty big, like, right. it's a big move overall. If I, if I was Sam's conscious, if I was a little angel on his shoulder, I'd be like, Sam Sarah, come back, I know, just like he's, he's he wants to he wants to flex, I think a little too hard right here. He wants to show he's fearless, and it's cool. Your confidence is dope. But this is not your average character. Arson is extremely strong. You should just wait it out just a little bit more and take advantage of this Joker to get those boots in. Honestly, I, I don't even know. I don't even think it's like him trying to like be super flashy. I feel like it's just really the fact that he's playing extremely aggressive, and that's just allowing MK Leo to take advantage of that. Notice the drift back right there. I think this game we're gonna be seeing a different Sansora play. Yeah, I don't know. More patient, at least waiting it out and see those empty floats. I want to see that a lot more often from Sansora. Joker's, uh, MK Leo is just so good at taking advantage of all of Joker's pluses, all the things he's very, very good at. Whether it's finding these quick grabs, using the up air in quick contention, finding kills with Arson. It's just, it's like, it, 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 when I see him play, it, it feels like he's been playing this character for years. Oh, clipping him with the down air again. Again, can we get a third time? Nope. Actually misfacing, or sorry, mistiming the last hit of the down air right there. Good adaptation right there to wait it out. That counter's been so, so effective for MK Leo. And this time, Tim Sora finally waited. Has an edge guard right there. And it looks like he's taking my advice a little bit. Taking a little more patient. He wants to fight Joker, not Arson. I think these walls of the back is coming out too. He has to go for the dash back, but MK Leo recognizing that, he's going to go for the dash attack instead. Yep. Drill into a Nair, but it's not quite going to kill. Great DI from MK Leo. Warning about that Arson. Great turnip drop. Hold on. Wow. Yep, that's exactly what he's been trying to do. He just has been letting go of the turnips. He's dropping the turnip a little too early. And that's the lead he wanted right there. Oh, down tilt will not trade with up tilt. Is that it? Oh no. So that, weird. That was so unfortunate because like he had already buffered the up beat too at that moment. That's the first time I've seen Gun actually kill. Okay, no up tilt, no up air chain. I saw her slowing it down, I like it. Yeah, I, I, I just as expected too. He's just playing extremely patient and just drifting back, not trying to overextend at the same time, especially when Arson's ready. Oh, the stitch Another face. Stitch. Yeah, he just tossed that at that point. Whiffing each other's shield up throw to up air. Arson's a little bit stronger. Oh, it goes a little, it, it feels like it goes further too. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm seeing things. It's scary. You see how he's just literally waiting for Sansora yeah. to land on any of these buffers oh, right no. now? The backer Greedy coming Peach through. Yep. The Peach I mean, I feel like he Peach Bomber just to come back to the stage, but he didn't really have to do that. He could have gotten the Legend Invincibility instead. Yep, and Leo now one stock away from being on the winner's side of top eight, along with his 
poke a better oh, tweak. Christ. He grappled to come down up air to Nair. And he goes so far oh. that he was able to just fast fall through this platform and still grapple with him. Through the gun. Oh, he gets so many grabs. I can feel the same sort of frustration right here. Oh, that fair charged up so much of the arson meter. Yeah. Leo looks unstoppable right here. Sabi to come out. And Sora Bear avoiding it. That counter tried and true. How deep will he go? As deep as he needs to. Coming back, and it looks like Sam Sora does not have an answer on how to get back to the stage. Grabs the ledge once again. The back air so safe. MK Leo only at half meter still. This is rough, and that is insane. Snuck, yeah, he snuck his way through across uh, Sam Sora and actually was able to land that back there. You know, I like the attempt that he did with the dash attacks.